That's how I got the reputation in Red Hook. People would tell you when I went to Red Hook, it was lights out, bro. When I went to John Jay and Red Hook, I was knocking everything out, bro. So I got a mm-hmm. reputation quick. It was over. Red Hook was off the chain back then, though. Yo, Red Hook was the most dangerous section I lived in in Brooklyn ever in my life. It, it was off the chain. I thought Brownsville and East. Nah. Red Hook was always at the rep, though. Brownsville had nothing on East New York and um and Red Hook. Red Hook was in Red Hook and East New York was running neck and neck because I seen I seen East New York. It was dangerous back then, bro. I mean, East New York at eighteen. You know what I'm saying? All that shit was going. East New York was, but Red Hook was crazy too, though. Red Hook was Red Hook was off the chain to a point Red, where Red Hook was crazy on a drug tip. Yo, and not only that. Them niggas was killing each other, bro. Yeah, like it was like they were. it was like a million old dogs out there. Yeah, it was. They was killing each a other. A million out. juice, a million bishops out there. That's yeah, what definitely. it was. A million bishops. Definitely. I knew dudes in Red Hook that that grew up with each other, and as adults, they'll kill you. They'll kill each other. And I know your moms. Red Hook was dangerous then. Like Red Hook stayed. In, Red Hook it stayed in the papers. Yo, it stayed in the papers, and I used to work for this dude, rest his soul, named Just. He was like 19. He went to high school with me and John Jay. Yeah. So if you ever heard of a dude named Calvin Klein, yeah, I heard of Calvin Jay-Z Klein. be talking about? Yeah. So I'm from that era. So yeah. I used to fuck with Just, and Klein and Savior was like not his ops, but they was like getting money too at the same time. Yeah. So Red Hook was divided into two or three people. It was just, it was Savior, and it was this big dude named Dumar, right? Yeah. And Dumar, I used to know Bismarck and all them. He was a big light skinned cat with a big cartoon face. He looked like a big tiger and shit. He was like six four. He thought he was, he thought he was like a John Gotti. He, I used to see him riding around in the big town car, Lincoln White, with a sweatsuit on. That's how the Godfathers used to dress back in the yeah, day. Yeah, right? definitely. And he used to sell mad dog food out there, like mad dope. He had all the dope. And just had the crack, Klein had crack, and Save had crack. And oh yeah, and the panels. The panels had had crack and coke too. So that was Red Hook back in the days. And this dude named King King Allah, the nigga that was responsible for that fat cat shit. Yeah, he was the one we had beef with. So he was the one that threw the bomb in, in the in the crib when we was there and all that. Scared me half to death. I was a young nigga too. I was like, that niggas fuck with this King of Law nigga. This nigga is an assassin, nigga. I'm not fucking with this, nigga. <laughs> this nigga is like special ops or some shit, bro. This nigga's throwing bombs under niggas' cars, bombs in niggas' cribs. And we young niggas. I'm like 19, 18. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's like 28, 30 or something. Up. OG yeah. nigga, King of Law. Yeah. Everybody know about that nigga. And, and, and so, 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 but Justin and them, Justin and them, y'all end up having like, cause you running with Just, they had beef with Klein and Savior. Yo, we never really had beef with Klein and Savior, but Just did have beef with Danny. Danny Diamonds was a nigga that yeah, from Marcy. Know. From Marcy, but he's the being yeah. right. So it was like Klein was meant. Klein and Danny's was partners, so. But Klein and Just was cool. So Just, he his gun went off. His gun went off. You know what I'm saying? His gun used to go off. So, and he was young, yo, bro. He had connections to Queensbridge, to Fort Greene. So yeah. we used to fuck with Queensbridge niggas. And they used to come out there to the Red Hook. And we used to go out there to Queensbridge and fuck with them niggas. And in Queensbridge, they were selling loose rocks out there in their hands and shit. Yeah, loose, like, loose cracks, yeah. Loose cracks and shit. That like was really what I was just talking about. Yeah. So they used to have loose rocks. Well, we used to fuck with them out there. And uh, So like during that era, you running with Just, you in Red Hook. Like you was going to other areas, you was going back to the Ville, going back to East New York at the same time too? Well, all right. So when I was in the Hook and shit, so we was getting money. The Hook? I was part of this building called 31 Center Mall. And 31's, this building was getting like, I'm not going to really exaggerate, but the shit was, had to be getting like, I want to say $60,000, $70,000 a day probably. 
maybe 40 to 50 or some shit like that because they had a lot of workers. So we used to have shifts and shit. And um, just getting money. The shit was getting so much money that so we caught a case and we caught a bribery case with the with the um with NYPD, whereas though the NYPD came into the crib, they snatched us up, then they called the nigga just and, and, and was at was trying to negotiate with him about you know getting us back and just going to tell niggas like the police up. kidnapped y'all. They locked us up, like they rushed the spot, locked us up. Yeah, called the nigga just and told the nigga just that we got him, blah, 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 whatever. And um, just was like on some arrogant cocky shit. You're gonna tell these niggas, I'm gonna pay for the niggas and I want my guns back too. So they he caught like some kind of bribery charge. For real? For that? Yeah, he can't look. The nigga, they had they had us chained up downtown Brooklyn and McDonald's and shit to the um to the benches. He came down with a brown paper bag full of money. And they and let us go. go. They ain't let us go. They locked them up and gave them a bribery charge. Wow. They like coerced them into the shit. Like, you know what they I'm saying? Entrapped them, really. Entrapment, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So that was the case he caught. So we end up bailing out or whatever. He ended up leaving the spot and left it like a bandit. So we ain't got no work now. So no, none of us was really prepared to take on a spot that was making 60000 a day. That means you got to have a few bricks. You got to have bricks. You got to have work, yeah. Yeah, you got to have work. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to lose your spot. Or you're going to lose your spot. You're going to lose the clientele that comes that way. So the the niggas is coming for the spot. They know that he ain't there. Niggas is coming. So who's going to hold it down? We started becoming like scavengers, like vultures. Everybody trying to scoop up their little bread, hold the spot down. It created a division amongst us. I left. I went OT now. When I came back, it was like 15 or 20 of us that used to fuck with each other. When I came back, they all was ops now. Everybody beefing with each other. Oh, over shit. Like, everybody beefing with each other. So now, it's like, yo, Stack, what up? This nigga saying, rest in peace to my nigga Herb, Enoch. Herb, like, fuck with me. This nigga over here saying, nah, come over here. Joey and them niggas like, yo, come fuck with me. And I'm like, I I love all y'all niggas. We grew up together. Like we 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 went to war with each other. Like, how I'm gonna go over here? So I had to leave. I had to leave because them niggas was going to war, bro. Yeah. 